On the 12th of June 2016, over one year ago, the US and the gay community experienced one of its most devastating mass shootings yet, and it happened in my home state of Florida. I'm sure you've all heard what happened. You've heard the names, the stories. You've heard about how terrible the incident was, and the fact that it happened at all is a testament of how far humanity has to come. Regardless of why this happened, regardless of America's stance on gun control, it happened and continues to happen in countries all around the world. To 50 people, their lives were cut short and made an example of a truly horrific hate crime. On a Saturday night, just like any other, Pulse, one of the biggest gay nightclubs Florida has to offer, hosted a Latino-themed night, inviting people in to have fun, let loose, and enjoy themselves in one of the most accepting and friendly communities of people. But that night was cut short because of hate. In a place that focuses on one core attribute, love, a man chose to hate, and he did so repeatedly and mercil mercilessly, life after life. The truth is, I felt more love and support in gay bars than I have in most churches, and that same love is repeated and focused on at Alternative Fashion Fest. We support that same virtue, one of love and acceptance. I truly believe it takes more work to be a dick than it does to be a friend. It's not hard. It's as simple as looking at someone who may be different than you, but choosing to love that difference. Choosing to try and understand that difference. Here at AFF, that's what we're all about. Everyone's got a story. Every single person has something that makes them unique. And it's in this uniqueness, that vast difference in personality, experience, and humanity, that we see how creative and diverse our world is, especially in our community. Where no matter your nationality, your skin color, your gender, your religion, or even the choice of clothing you decide to decorate yourself with, and especially your sexuality, it's all a spectrum. And it takes everyone and all of our amazing differences to make our species so fascinating. Donald Trump chose words the other day that professed transgendered individuals as a burden on the military and told them they could no longer serve their community. I just want to say that this has divided America further and that you're not a burden, you're a person. So screw Donald Trump and his insidious statements. Our community is stronger together and it wouldn't be the LGBTQ community without the T. So remember the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, think of our LGBT family, and most importantly, today and for the rest of our days, choose to be part of the solution and love, accept, and encourage those around you to be the best they can be. Thank you.